Using the samples that ship with Rad Studio, we can quickly see how to connect using FireDAC to both IB Lite and Interbase to Go. Under the mobile samples, if you have a look in FireDAC IB Lite, there's the FireDAC IB Lite project. Now also in there, there is a tasks.gdb. Now if you are just doing some debugging on Windows or just checking the sample through, you may need to copy that into your Win32 or Win64 folder. But let's just open the project and we're going to run this application first and then we're going to look at how it works. So it's a very simple application. Here I have one task already in my project. Now let's just remove that and just come and add in task foo task fee. And let's close and reopen the program and we can see we have our persisted data. So we've seen here, first of all, a table component being used just to list the contents of the table. Under the properties, we can just see the table name listed. And then we have our query insert, which is using a parameter to define the value that we want to insert. And then here in the delete, uh, the same again. So let's go ahead and see how this actually runs now out onto a mobile device. Here I'm just going to go into the simulator under my targets. Let's just run this out onto an iPhone 5 simulator. Hit run. And here we have the iOS simulator starting up. And the same project will be running now on the iOS simulator. So we're going to hit the plus and we can see now we are fully in iOS. So we'll just do iOS foo and iOS fee. Okay, and let's have a look at how this actually works underneath the hood. So the FireDAC component here is using a before connection just to set the database path incorrectly. And this would depend on the platform. Uh, using get documents path is the, the best one to use. And, and then we have here uh, the username and password being defined by parameters as well. This uh, before connection is fired as the database is connected to in the form create. Using the parameters under the delete button here, we can see the task name that's being passed in um, being removed. And in the add button, we can see the input query being used to request a value. And if that is then present, using the param by name to execute query to insert the data. So pretty straightforward database connectivity work. The one thing that you do need though with IB Lite and IB to go is a license. Now that comes with the product and if you go under project deployment and I'm just going to go ahead here and let's just do all configurations. We can add in feature files. Here we have interface to go and here we can see we have the IB Lite reg and the IB to go. Now you only need to have the one that you're deploying there. Um, so let's just go ahead and have a look at what I have on my machine here. So I've already downloaded and registered my license that comes with my registration email. And if we go to C, users, public, documents, Embarcadero, interbase, redistribution, and then choose your version of interbase. In here, I've got my license file that I just renamed to reg underscore IB Lite because it's an IB Lite license. Um, likewise, you